What's up gang? Welcome back to another Wednesday tutorial. Thank you guys for joining me. I appreciate it so much. So I think the title of this video gave away what we're going to be talking about today. If you guys have ever seen Peter McKinnon's intro on his YouTube videos, you know that it's super cool looking. Uh, it's glitchy. There's things flying in and out of the screen. There's different graphics popping up. It looks really awesome. And today I'm going to show you guys how you can make one of your own for your own YouTube videos. Since we're talking about Peter McKinnon and his intro, I feel like we almost have to do something really cool along the lines of like, roll that intro. All right, gang, here we are. The first thing we're gonna do is get into an internet browser. We're going to go up here and hit videohive.net. So what we're gonna do is go down here to the search bar and we're gonna type in glitch opener. Um, the one that I ultimately went with is this because there's two versions. Um, so all you gotta do is go ahead and click on this. It'll take you to a purchasing screen. I went ahead, I've already purchased this. Uh, you just go ahead, add to cart or buy now. So let's go ahead, we're going to get into After Effects. All right, so here we are inside of After Effects now. We've gone ahead, we've opened our project. All of this should look pretty familiar to you if you are a fan of Peter McKinnon. It's very similar to his intro, um, but what's missing is all of the cool footage of him uh, in the background, or of you in this case. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and we're going to edit this to customize it and make it our own. Go up here into placeholders, and you'll notice that we have six spots right here to put some, some photos or video. I'm gonna import my own graphics for the project. A cool drone shot. Uh, if we're doing a Peter McKinnon intro, we gotta have some coffee, of course. I mean, duh. We're just gonna take and we're gonna use these images to make our, our intro. Let's go ahead and open up placeholder number one. And you'll notice that it's empty. That is because we have to fill it with something. Um, this is going to be the very first shot, so we want it to look cool. Let's go ahead and we're going to put some drone footage. All right, there we go. We've already done that. We're going to open place over two, three, four, five, and six. Let's just keep those all open. It's easier that way. So placeholder one, we have the drone. Number two, let's go ahead and we'll pick something else. Um, let's go ahead and use this shot right there. Let's go ahead and we're just gonna scale this up to fill the frame. So we're just gonna click down here, hit scale, and we're just gonna go until we've filled our frame. And we're done. Let's go on to placeholder three. Uh, I think that might be a coffee shot. Yes. Coffee video. Uh, placeholder four. Let's go ahead. This is a neat shot right here. The film production. Uh, again, we've got some cropping going on. So let's go ahead and hit S for scale. And we're just going to boost that up until we fill our frame. Uh, all right. Number five. Let's go ahead and you know, we'll put something like this. Uh, you know, we're coming to the end, so let's let them know what we're all about here. Number six, and there we go. So we've got all of our placeholders completely full. We can go ahead and just close those. There's our coffee. So as you can see, our shots have gone ahead and even though we went ahead and scaled those shots up, they have gone ahead and put some black bars on there to, uh, you know, kind of stylize it a little bit more. 
Um, so we are done with our graphics right now. We're going to go ahead into our text and we're going to open up all of these. All right. So text number one, creative, creative filmmaking for our first one. All right. So we're going to go into our text right here and we're going to double click on that layer and we're going to say fancy cameras, fancy cameras. Um, we can go ahead and close that. All we have to do is double click and we're going to say delicious coffee. So let's go into text four here real quick. Location shooting and we'll go ahead and close that out. Uh, number five created with love it says uh, we're going to change that we're just going to say new down here we'll say videos and here we will say monday wednesday and friday so this is where we drag and drop our logo uh, let's go ahead and we'll import my logo so what we're going to do is just go ahead and center the part that we need. We've gone ahead and we've customized everything super fast and easy. And you can see at the very end, our logo right there is front and center. So all we need to do right now is go ahead and export this thing and we'll put it to some music and make any sort of adjustments that we need with timing or speed ramping or anything like that inside of Premiere. All right, so here we are inside of Premiere now. We have our video that we made in After Effects. Uh, and what we're gonna do is just pair that with our music. All right, so we might have to do a little bit of cutting just to, to make it fit well, um, but here we go. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give it a like. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button for new content every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Have fun creating, and I'll see you guys later.